Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Silicon-based chips are the core component of modern electronic technology and are widely used. They can be found everywhere in personal electronic products such as smartphones, tablets, and laptops. Because of the existence of silicon-based chips, human technology has taken off rapidly. However, the disadvantages of silicon-based chips are becoming more and more obvious. As chip sizes shrink, silicon-based chips face physical limitations, such as quantum effects, electron mobility, and other issues, which affect the stability and performance of the chips. In addition, the launch of a new generation of chips requires a large amount of R&D investment and technological breakthroughs, which imposes requirements on manufacturing processes and design capabilities. After decades of development, silicon-based chips support the layout of tens of billions of transistors within the size of a fingernail. The current top-notch technology has reached 3 nanometers, but the defects of traditional semiconductor materials are also directly exposed. After the chip enters the 7 nanometers stage, every time the process technology is upgraded, the performance improvement is extremely limited, but the cost increases significantly. This also leads to many companies not to choose the most cutting-edge technology. Chip manufacturers the cost is also difficult to recover. This happens to also give China an opportunity for chip breakthroughs. At present, in addition to focusing on traditional silicon-based chips, the country is focusing more on the research and development of new semiconductor materials, and graphene materials are currently the most popular. Has also been identified as China's hope for overtaking in corners. Now there is good news again in research and development in this field. The scientific research team of Tianjin University has once again made a contribution. The team used a special furnace to grow graphene on silicon carbide wafers and successfully prepared epitaxial graphene materials, which will be used as graphene is attached to the surface of silicon carbide crystals. It means the birth of the first functional semiconductor made of graphene. Compared with traditional silicon-based chips, graphene material improves chip performance by 1000%, which will bring more benefits to Chinese core in cornering overtaking. Possibility In the past, China only heard about how good graphene material is but no substantial products were provided. This time it is completely different. The technology has been further certified. Graphene composed of a single layer of carbon atoms has excellent electrical conductivity and mechanical properties. It is excellent in strength and has long been identified as an ideal next-generation semiconductor material. More importantly, China has always been at the top level in the world in terms of technology research and development in this area. The position of 3 nanometers chips is quite embarrassing. It has excessive performance when used in digital products, but it must be used in high-end products. AI and other fields are simply not enough, and tens of thousands of them are needed to train large AI models. The future is destined to be an era of intelligence. Just like the driverless technology developed by major car companies at this stage, it requires huge algorithms to support its maturity. 
It seems that the current chip performance is sufficient, but it is still not guaranteed to be foolproof. The reason why the United States is anxious and trying every means to suppress China's semiconductor industry is because the existing chip technology is not enough to support the so-called technological hegemony. It can only use this method to buy more time for itself, but obviously this had the opposite effect. The Biden team's suppression and restrictions have not only failed to restrict Chinese semiconductors, but have made China determined to build its own industrial chain. The return of Huawei's Kirin 9000S chip has hit the United States to a large extent. Now that China has opened a breakthrough in graphene semiconductor materials, it is likely to become a turning point in the sustainable development of China's semiconductors. Of course, before mass production of graphene chips has been completed, China obviously cannot be complacent. Only by developing in a low-key manner can it be more solid. Independent research and development of chips is not just a matter for Huawei. All capable domestic companies should unite to create an industrial chain of their own and replace all Hanmi technologies, so that they will not be at a disadvantage in future competition. Graphene is a material composed of a single layer of carbon atoms. It has excellent electrical conductivity and mechanical strength. It is considered an ideal material to replace silicon in the future. This research opens up new possibilities for the application of graphene semiconductors and is expected to change the development direction of electronic devices in the future. What Biden does not want to see happen is that graphene is a material with great potential and its research and application have attracted much attention around the world. The breakthrough of the Chinese research team in manufacturing graphene semiconductors is an important scientific achievement. China has taken an important step and accumulated relevant achievements. Then the US blockade in the chip field will easily be torn open, even in the future. The graphene semiconductor industry is at a disadvantage in the competition. This is a situation that Biden does not want to see, but no matter how Biden restricts it, it will not change China's determination to conduct self-research. Of course, graphene semiconductors have long path resistance, and it will take a long time to actually apply graphene semiconductor materials to industrialization. Fortunately, Chinese researchers are already working hard to solve the problem of growing graphene semiconductor materials on larger-sized silicon carbide substrates. Looking forward to more good news. What do you think of this?